we have quite a few different colors available to us. But sometimes, I don't know about you, I find that there's not one that is absolutely perfect. So if I apply my custom theme here, really love this uh, theme, you know, and most of them really nice, but none of them are exactly what I want. So what I can do is I can use this create new theme colors. And see at the bottom it says custom one. I can change that to be my company colors. And then we have our um, our options here. See, so we've got our uh, text background for dark and light and dark and light here. And I've got my accent colors. Now, if you find one that's fairly close to what you want to use, great, that's perfect. Then you can just adjust the few that are not exactly how you want. Say this one's one that I don't really like, so I can go into more colors. Say if you have the red, green, blue, you, you type in the red, green, blue at the bottom. If not, you can customize it a little bit. So I'm going to do go. And that's it. If I want to add a bit of red, And notice how my preview is showing me what it's going to look like. So I can really get a feel of whether this is going to work or not. Now if you work for a company that has set colors and they have the red, green, blue, you can go through, as you saw in the previous one, and actually put in the numbers. So you'd, it's usually RGB. And you might, for this case, it would be RGB 160, 151, 129. Rarely do I see it where they actually spell it out red, green, blue. But it's always in that order. The first number is red, the second number is green, the third's blue. And then you just type it in. If uh, you know the hue, saturation, and illumination, you can add those in. But mostly it is the red, green, blue. And then you just customize it. You put in your um, the name of the the actual theme, the the name that you'd like. Always name it something that you're going to remember. Custom theme one, or sorry, custom color one is not great. So we save it, and here it is. And this way, I can go through and say, great. I'd like to actually. It's over here somewhere. I like to change the colors, be in format, and have the shape fill and look I've got my custom my custom color. Okay. So it's quite easy, just go into the design and in colors, or if you're in your um, slide master, it's right here in colors. And create new color theme, or sorry, create new theme colors, and then customize them. And as I said, if you select the, the group that is uh, most similar to the one that you want, then use that first.